Hi everyone, Sufyan here with another Onshape Tech Tip. Today I show you how to easily assign part numbers for reference component in your Onshape assemblies. In large complex projects, top level assemblies can include sub assemblies from different documents or parts from your company's parts library. Managing part numbers for all these components can be tricky. But Onshape's Bill of Materials helps manage data properties and assign part numbers efficiently. To make things easier, let's display assembly properties directly in the assembly instances list. This gives you quick access to important information like part numbers, revisions, and release dates, helping you spot any missing part numbers or information before making changes. Onshape's Bill of Materials allows you to automatically generate missing part numbers following your company's predefined settings, but this works only for parts or assemblies that are located within the same document. For data from other documents, the traditional approach involves opening each document separately, assigning part numbers, creating new versions and updating references in the top-level assembly. This can be time-consuming and prone to mistakes. A better way is to use the Release Candidate dialog. From the top-level assembly, right-click and select Release. Once in the dialog, you might notice components from different sub-assemblies that don't have part numbers yet. Simply use the automatic generation feature to quickly assign part numbers to all components all in one place. Once you are done, just click Apply and the changes will automatically update across all reference data from different documents. When you return to the Bill of Materials, you will see all the part numbers updated, saving you time and effort. No need to create new versions or make any additional updates manually. It's fast, efficient and keeps everything consistent. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more Onshape Tech Tips.